Hi guys, see you again with Electromagnet Fun and this time my project is axial pulse motor with 4 coil and 4 new magnet the construction is something like this there is 4, four coil and 4 magnet inside the rotor this is a hall sensor the coil is something like this use a yarn bobbin and copper wire 0.4 millimeter diameter is about 300 turn give a isolated something like that and then the whole get keep a, a mark in one edge to have the connection later and the core is I use a M6 bolt with nut and ring is also to hold to the the base acrylic acrylic piece make four for like this to make a connection uh, use a small bolt something like this this is the shaft I use a M8 bolt it's about 7 cm you can use a shorter for this with a nut ring and bigger ring this is M M10 ring to hold the rotor tight and more even and this one is a bearing I use a glue gun to stick the bearing to the acrylic to the base the yellow the yellow one is glue gun the bearing is I use a zero six zero 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 type bearing mean that the bore diameter is 10 millimeter little bit bigger than M M8 bolt but this okay The perfect one is a 608 bearing type. And this is a M4 bolt to hold the hall sensor. The rotor itself is like this. There is acrylic in the middle of rotor. Uh, and this 12 centimeter diameter. Uh, the thick is 3 or 4 millimeter or thicker if you want and the middle is for the shaft is 8 or 9 millimeter and will be covered with two CP both sides and to stick this three part together I use M3 bolt there is 8 bolt For magnet, I use a neo magnet. This is 18 millimeter, two millimeter thick. I use two for each hole. As you see, all magnet is face the same, not, 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 or vice versa, short, 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 short. Just tighten this and do the same for the rest six. Okay, guys, seem the circuit is already done. Motor, the tester to see the DC ampere and the circuit for control, simple control. 
and for power supply I use a laptop adapter 19 volt but actually is 20 volt the maximum current is 3 ampere the capacity for the coil for the first time I use a serial connection like this this red dot is the mark in the coil and the second connection later we will use a series parallel combined connection in, in coil and for the control this is the circuit that I use this one this whole thing and the transistor more simple is like this you can use like this too okay now it's ready to test Okay, draw current 0 0.3231 ampere, DC ampere. And now let's see the RPI. It's about 2400, 24.70. Twenty four eighty something like that. Okay, for the next connection, I will change to series parallel combine. Okay, guys, I already changed the connection into series parallel combine. Okay, let's now test again and see what happened. Current is about 0 0.75, is more than twice than series connection before. I'm seeing the RPM now. It's more than 4,000, 4,100 RPM. It's very fast. The current is 0 0.74, more than twice than series connection before, and the speed is increased very significant to more than 4,000. 4100 RPM Ok folks, that's all for axial pulse motor this time Next time I will use the 8 magnet new in the rotor So stay tuned and see you in the next video Bye